What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It has been far, far too long. I haven't posted since my elopement trip back with Matt and Dan in October. It's December, which means this dumpster fire of a year is almost behind us, uh, which also means my 365-day project is coming to an end. Uh, just a short video today to tell you about what I learned, what I enjoyed about this project, and what I really didn't. Uh, if that's something that interests you, Stick around. We'll talk about it. All right. So, 2020. Need I say more, right? We've all felt it. We've all, we're all still feeling it, but... It is nearing the end of de December by the time I'm getting this posted, uh, which means they're days, mere days away from completing this project. Um, at the end of 2019, I decided, you know what, it's time to do something different. It's time to step out of my comfort zone a little bit, and I'm going to post every single day. Um, what I didn't realize is how difficult that would be, not because I have a lack of images. I shoot far too much, I'm sure, and I shoot stuff for myself, for clients, uh, for companies, so I have plenty to choose from, but I never realized that digging through your work, being vulnerable enough to post one image every single day is hard. Um, you post on the days you don't feel like posting. You feel on the days when life's too busy and life's too hard. Um, you make that time, and sometimes that means maybe you're not posting your best work. Maybe sometimes that means you're not putting your best self forward, but that means people see you for who you are they see that you're not just posting you know your favorite stuff every other day or once a week that you're letting them in a little bit that was uncomfortable for me um i'm not good with things like that um and i wasn't great at things like this never done a project like this um so i learned a lot about my work i learned that i am hypercritical i knew that a little bit going in but when you're having to choose a photo to post every day from somewhere in the calendar year that opens you up a little bit that that lets people see i guess some of the flaws in your work um not that my work's perfect by any means let's not get mistaken but it also means that i'm not just throwing stuff out there that i really want people to get that i really want the most attention for work. does that make sense because when it's all said and done it's not about the attention it's not about the likes it's not about the followers uh it's about creating something that you're proud of creating stuff that your clients are proud of and creating stuff that you'll put your name on and be okay with. Um, and 365 days of putting my name on work was hard. It was. Uh, things I learned, though. Uh, I learned that people enjoy my work. That was fun. Uh, I had people comment in several different places, Facebook groups, Instagram, that they look forward to my photos every day. And that means a ton means a ton to me uh, because honestly I don't enjoy seeing my photos every day some days like it's refreshing when people vocally and verbally reach out to you like hey I see what you're doing and I appreciate it um, I also learned that you have to be intentional every day uh, whether that's with your phone with your camera I posted a lot of film this year as well so like no matter what format you're using you have to be intentional. You have to know that every day you're going to be posting. So every day you're going to need new content. Uh, not that I posted new stuff every single day uh, with my film. Obviously, that takes some time to get developed. So a lot of stuff was flashbacks and throwbacks, if you will. But you know what? I love shooting film. That's not going anywhere. There'll be more of that in 2021. Um, but if you've never tried a project like this, I highly, highly recommend it. Not because it's easy. Do not mistake me. It will not be. But because it'll teach you. You will grow from it. You will learn from it, and you might just find that you like shooting things you didn't know before. Luckily for me, I, I kind of stayed in my lane. I love shooting portraits. I love shooting landscapes, and I, I love working with people. That's kind of what my Instagram's all about. Um, if you've never seen it, I'll leave the link below. I'd appreciate you stopping by. But if you have seen it, I hope that that's relevant, and I hope that you, you see that that's where my lane is. But anything adventurous. That, that's, where we're, that's where we're headed. I mean, it's where my heart's always been, but I think I've kind of opened myself up to do the things that I needed to do a lot more than I wanted to do. And that's not to say I didn't enjoy every single shoot I've had this year by any means, but I find that the things I long for the most 
are the things that are harder to achieve. The things that put you in these uncomfortable situations like this, put you on those hikes that are difficult to get to, uh, on those sunrise alarms that you don't want to answer to get up and make those photo shoots, you know. Um, those are the things that excite me. Those are the things I want more of coming forward. And hopefully those are the things that you all enjoy coming from me. Um, I didn't vlog a whole lot this year. Um, I was trying to make sure that the photo side of things was forward. Uh, we shot our first music video over at Throat Punch Productions, um, which was awesome. We did a lot of different things over there. Honestly, that included more video, and I enjoyed that more than anticipated. So hopefully you'll see more of this going forward. But if you have questions about the project, if you have questions about why I shot every day or I posted every day or how you could do that or any tips that you might need, please let me know. Either drop them in the comments here, follow me over on Instagram, DMs, whatever you want to do. I'm happy to help any way I can. We'll cut it here. Get out. Shoot. Make something you're proud of. Share it. What's going to happen? I mean, words are just words. If you're proud of it, that's good enough. And it's got to be. I mean, life's short. 2020 sucked. Let's, let's go forward making art that we're proud of. Till the next one. I appreciate you stopping through.